<laughs> guys, guys, revenue is down. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't pay my mortgage. Um, I just sit at home and I just can't pay anything, and I don't know why I can't like pay anything. Hey guys, so I'm just, uh, I'm really hurt right now. The revenue's down on my channel and uh, I just can't do anything without you guys paying for it. So if you could go to www.givememoney so I can do whatever I want.com and just uh, the merch is on sale there right now. If you could just do that, um, it'd really help me out. I just, uh, I just, I just want everyone else to build my stuff for me and just give me the money so I don't have to do anything for it, work for the money or anything. So yeah, if you could just do that, <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> I don't need it. I don't do this for revenue, I do this because it's fun and it's a chance to help you guys out. And building cars is fun, so why would you want someone else to pay for you to build your own car? Get a job, work and make money, build your own stuff. So yeah, um, hope you guys uh, kind of take light in the humor of everything going on. Because uh, it's pretty stupid in my opinion, but whatever. Especially now, because, uh, yeah, just how everything is, you know. So, um, this video is just going to be uh, me pinning the LS crank shaft and pulley because they're not pinned. And um, if you guys know, the crank shaft pulley has a little, some of them have little seals on the edges of them as far as to like, hypothetically bolt up to the oil pump to prevent it from spinning like the like the friction of it but it's it's a joke whatever so uh, I pinned it with the LSX Innovations pinning kit so that's gonna be this video and it's starting now alright so today I'm gonna show you how to pin your LS crankshaft so what you wanna do is get a kit obviously with some dowels and drill bits and all that stuff so alright so it's pretty straightforward I ordered a kit from LSX Innovations it's like 50 bucks they give you this uh, dowel drill piece, the chamfered or tapered edge goes towards the crank and they give you a long bolt and you kind of just like set it in there like so and kind of screw this guy in so it's tight once I do that alright so after you tighten the bolt make sure this is tight like Four dowels and a drill bit. So what you want to do is obviously take apart the whole kit here. You want to put your drill on low setting so you don't wear out the drill bit. So like so, get your drill, put it on the low setting. And then just drill into the hole here. So after you drill, make sure that you have enough depth. So let's take this guy out. And as you can see, you have a nice little dowel drilled. Let's see if one of these dowel pins fits in there. Alright, so they say to use some kind of sealant. This is what I'm going to use for the dowel. And you want the flat edge to go towards the bolt so it has a good seating surface. Okay. 
And just like that, you've pinned your LS crank. Don't get greedy because these bolt heads suck. Alright guys, so I got the Dorman, let's see here, Dorman knock sensors, the RNB-926-084. So what you want to do, is these have specific torque values to read a certain amount of knock, so you don't want to mess these up. These are really fragile also, that's why some people like see the ceramic. It's kind of a weird design or whatever. But I don't want to drill in the hole in the block and have all these different conversion harnesses to run a 58x knock sensor and blah blah blah. So what you want to do is, uh, these are a 22. So you want to take these and screw them down into the hole obviously. Be really careful because these are super fragile and they're like not, you know, 50 bucks is pretty expensive. I mean... In my case, but I mean, I understand that it is a sensor, so whatever. And that kit, this kit also comes with uh, the harness, which is good because that plug sucks. Trying to reuse it and stuff. And the torque spec on this is 15 foot pounds. So, also, another thing I'm going to do is build a bridge, like right here with RTV. Because depending on the way the engine's tilted underneath the intake manifold, water will get into these because um, these plugs that go in here don't seal. So I'm actually going to do that. But first let's torque these knock sensors. 15 foot-pounds. So let's see here. 15 foot-pounds to inch-pounds. Here is information from So Esther. it's 180 inch-pounds. So I use this little guy. Just because of the fact that my big torque wrench doesn't go that low. Alright, so you want to get your little guy in here. Obviously torque it. Kit. Some people say uh, OEM is best, but I don't really believe all that. So, obviously, this actually goes towards the back. You want to be careful the way you plug these guys in, so they can be a pain. Push down your film seat with the covers. Just be careful because the wires are super fragile. There you go. Kind of let this guy route back. That should be good. Well, that's pretty much about it for this guy. Uh, I'm pretty much waiting on parts from Summit due to all this stupidity going on right now in the world. Um, but the knock sensors are in. 
torque to spec, harnesses plugged in and wired and set up. Um, pretty much all I need next is the lifters. Um, they're coming on the 19th of April. Um, so pretty much once I get those, I'll throw them in. Uh, you know, and then I can throw the heads on. This actually is going to need a water pump spacer kit. Uh, so I kind of, I mean, I compressed these gaskets already, but I have two already, two OEM ones, and then two composites in addition to the two I used. Um, and then the kit I'm going to order is from ICT Billet. So they're going to have, you know, four in there already. So we'll be all right. No big deal. But uh, that's going to be able to run uh, the alternator kind of like right here. Power steering pump, I think it's going to be below it right here. It's super compact. It's built for, it's a Turbo 5.3 accessory setup, so keeps it compact and away from the outside for forward facing manifolds. So we're going to do that. Just takes time and money, guys. So, uh, yeah. That's why you get a job and work as hard as you can and put in the elbow grease and the time, and uh, it's worth it in the end, especially when you work for it yourself and you buy stuff for yourself, you know. It's just like super rewarding. You appreciate it more, you know. But uh, let me know what you guys are doing with your projects uh, during this whole quarantine stuff. I'm only, you know, off my normal days. I still work because my job's essential. I treat water and people drink water and we're 70% water, so <laughs> that's not going to go away. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this episode. It's pretty short. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Like the bottom, hit the bell for the subscribe. Um, I really appreciate all you new subscribers and all of you existing subscribe subscribers, if I can figure out how to talk. <laughs> um, it, you really help me out and this definitely gives me motivation to continue uh, doing this because not only is it fun for me, but it's nice to have someone that appreciates it and, uh, you know, gives their input as well. And, uh, different frame of mind, different creativity and thoughts and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.